morning friends and welcome back to a new video and welcome back to my channel uh, I hope you all feel good and that you had an awesome weekend and a terrific start of the week and um, today before we start this video uh, I'm going to give you a little bit of a heads up because in my next video I'm going to do a QA. and a uh, so while you are watching this video just prepare yourself with a lot of questions and post them here in the comments so that I have something to answer on my next video um, but anyways back to today and uh, we are in the garage uh, and here is my Scania and um, today we are going to go to a new place where I haven't been before and <laughs> actually all of the places is quite new to me since I just moved here and everything is just <laughs> new and so we are going to start to put the flatbed up on the truck uh, and then we're going to attach the wagon uh, and then we're going to try to find where we are going to get loaded and uh, so yep yeah, we're just going to jump into the truck and uh, start working Well guys, uh, we got to borrow a snow shovel uh, because it came quite a lot of snow last night and it's a lot of snow that is laying on the wagon as well uh, so we're gonna have to go out and take the snow off. It's always important to have your vehicles clean because if something would fall off, uh, it doesn't matter if it's snow or ice or maybe a tool that is hiding under the snow. If it comes off and hit a car behind you, you are the one responsible for the accident. So always make sure to have your vehicles clean and uh, don't have any loose stuff laying around it was the same thing when i was driving these big box trucks and we had to take a ladder and climb up on the roof and take the snow off the of the roof of the truck uh, which was quite scary because it's very high and it's very slippery on those roofs uh, so i'm quite happy that the flatbed is very low so i don't have to climb so high but we're going to go out and start shoveling some snow off from the wagon something wrong with the ABS uh, so I'm gonna have to go out and check the ABS cable uh, just to make sure that everything is in order uh, because it's never fun to drive with a wagon without the ABS it gets so intense when you are hitting the brakes so yeah I'm gonna have to go out and check that right after I have been uh, filling up some diesel Just gonna go back here and check the cable and make sure that it is in place. This one is broken, but it looks like it's in right place. The sign is gone, so now we are good to go. Uh, so the windshield gets frozen 
uh, I have the highest speed and heat on the windshield but uh, uh, the truck can't really keep up with the cold weather to melt the ice on the windshield. It's very hard to see when I meet up with other vehicles because their lights are kind of like reflecting on the windshield. Uh, I can show you here when we are meeting this truck. It's a little bit hard to see. My windshield is a little bit too icy, so I'm going to go out and take off some ice so that I can see a little bit better. I'm just going to go out and fix that. There's something that won't let me Here, now the ice has melted a little bit, and uh, now we can keep going. Well guys, uh, this doesn't look right and it doesn't feel right and I'm not sure if this is the right way because it's a lot of trees and it's just so small. <laughs> uh, so what I'm doing, I'm checking out for places where I will be able to turn the truck around in case this is the wrong way. Uh, that is actually a good tip if you're driving on a new road. Just check out for places where you can turn your truck around just in case because it's never fun if you're driving on a road and you end up on a dead end and you're gonna have to back everything out again but according to the GPS this is the way uh, so I'm just going to drive a little bit further forward and we're just gonna have to see where we end up reach the right address uh, but I'm not quite sure which house we're going to get loaded on uh, so I'm going to make a quick phone call to the loader that is going to get here and make sure that I pick the right house and um, so I'm just going to call him and start preparing to get loaded right place is was this first house uh, but the problem that we have now is that we're gonna have to turn the trucking wagon around uh, because we are going to get out the same way as we got in and uh, I'm going to run over to the other road and see if we will be able to make a u-turn there uh, because it could get quite tricky to make a turn in a t-crossing so hopefully we have more space and it's not as tight on the other road uh, so I'm just going to run over there and see how it looks like and hopefully we can turn and prepare for the loader when he arrives. Well guys, uh, we're gonna have to take it careful because it's super slippery here uh, but I think we'll be able to fit to make a turn there. We're just going to drive up to the right and then we're going to 
back it up a little bit to the right as well and then we are at the finish line uh, so we're just gonna have to give it a try and uh, wish me luck to back up with the flatbed and uh, we'll see how it goes all the crazy shit I did tonight Those would be the best memories I just wanna let it go for the night That would be the best therapy for me but I got in uh, it went pretty well to back up with this flatbed wagon uh, I was a little bit nervous because last time uh, it went terrible when I was trying to back up with it but I think I get a better of it and it's starting to snow a little bit too um, but uh, now we're just gonna wait for the loader and uh, start to get loaded
the truck is loaded, the wagon is loaded, everything is locked and secure with the straps and we are ready to go. Uh, so we're just going to drive careful out from the forest and get going to our unloading destination. You see, sand in your feet, feel the breeze in the summertime, stars in the sky, one dying for the first time, moving away to the sea, moving away, can't you see, we'll drink honey by the ocean, it's our favorite potion, come on baby, let me tell you one time that our days will never end, yeah, no, our days will never end, yeah, no, guys uh, i'm just about to roll in and get unloaded uh, thank you so much for sticking around for this long and checking this video out and uh, for my next video i'm going to do a q a so just drop me a lot of questions uh, because i did a little bit of a mistake in the last video uh, because i posted a comment under my video like thumbs up on this comment if you would like me to do the forest run and thumbs down if you want to see me do the Q&A uh, then I realized that you can't press thumbs down on a comment or at least I can't see them so that's why I went with the forest run because I couldn't see <laughs> how much you had voted um, so for the next video I'm going to do the Q&A uh, but I also wanted to add something extra so I would like to do a would I rather so you asked me like would you rather drive a cab over or would you rather drive a nose truck and I will let you know the answer to that so just questions 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 in the comment field and just have an awesome continued week and weekend and I will see you in the next video good night guys